Hey there guys, much like the last video, today's project is going to be another very simple one, but potentially a very useful one to have around. Just so long as I'm not actually utilizing it too much, I'm going to be making a first aid station out of an old repurposed AED cabinet. Uh, those are the cabinets that hold the heart defibrillators that sometimes you see uh, in an airport or a public building. And uh, while I'm not going to be making the cabinet because I'm repurposing one, I am going to be adding shelves, stocking it with various things that I think may come in handy for small cuts and different things like that. Um, but I am going to try to trick it out a little bit by adding an irrigation component. So say if I do get a cut, uh, instead of walking into the house bleeding on the floor, which I've done quite a few times before, I can irrigate it out here with some clean sterile water. Um, and I'll probably make a little foot pedal or something kind of cool uh, for to actuate the water. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So hopefully it'll be an interesting project. And uh, before we get started, I want to say thank you to the Home Depot Perspective for sponsoring this, along with Ryobi Tools. You see me using them all the time, and uh, I appreciate them working with me on some of these uh, smaller, interesting projects. So here's the cabinet I'm going to be using for this build. One thing to note, though, is that it looks pretty dang new, and in the intro, I said I was going to be using an old repurposed one. Well, the reason for that is because I filmed the intro about a week and a half ago, and I thought I was going to be purchasing this really cool vintage looking cabinet off of Craigslist. A uh, person said it was available, but then they just never got back to me, so I ended up ordering a generic one, and uh, I think it'll work out just fine. Um, it's actually probably in better shape than the other one. And then what I have over here is just some random first aid supplies, so for kind of like uh, traumatic injuries, cuts, and things like that irrigation, antiseptic, some gauze, uh, quick clot, uh, wound seal, various things like that, just so I can get the sizing right for the shelves that I'm gonna build in this cabinet. And then I got this cool first aid sticker that I will put on the window. And then the kind of cool component of this uh, is going to be figuring out some sort of uh, mechanism to use this water bottle uh, that will come through the bottom of the cabinet and be able to squirt out water to irrigate, say, a, a cut finger or something like that. Uh, the rest of it essentially is just going to be basic shelves. So let me get to the shelves first, and then I'll get to the kind of cooler aspect of it. So as you guys can probably imagine, I'm going to be trimming these shelves out in aluminum. And I have some aluminum channel that fits perfectly over this plywood thickness. But I need to cut a little notch here on these shelves so it can sit flush. And then once I get that done, I will trim these shelves out with some aluminum pieces that will uh, sit up just about 3 eighths of an inch over the shelf to create a little lip to keep things from sliding off. So let me take this and run it on the table saw right now and then we will install it in the cabinet.
All right, so the boring part is done. Now I'm gonna get working on the irrigation component on the other side. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do just yet, but I will probably have the water bottle nozzle facing out the bottom of the cabinet. And I just need to come up with something that'll squeeze the water bottle uh, from like a foot pedal or something like that. And uh, anyway, we'll see what uh, I can come up with. So you may be wondering what these two little slots are for. Those are going to be to allow a cable to come through there, wrap around the bottle, and then exit the other one. And then it'll exit the side of the cabinet somewhere back here and go through a series of pulleys until it gets down to the foot pedal. Or at least I'm thinking that's what it's going to do right now. So I'm going to install this inside the cabinet, add one more shelf, and then I'm going to work on the kind of pulley mechanism. time to hang it up on the shop door so I can figure out the pulley mechanism but before I do I wanted to add this first aid sticker while it's still on the workbench and easier to work with and what I did is just uh, centered out a perfect square the same size as the sticker with some painters tape so that I can hopefully get it pretty darn centered and looking reasonably professional. I think that's looking pretty darn good. So this is VHB tape, the same stuff I used to attach all the panels on my travel trailer. And I'm not really using it to attach it to the door uh, so much because the door paint is flat and this really needs like a smooth paint to adhere to. Uh, but I'm just uh, putting it there almost as a cushiony buffer so when I put the screws through in the door, uh, it's not gonna rattle. Well, I've been opening the door a bunch and this thing feels pretty darn secure. The water bottles inside actually hold very securely. There's no wiggle or anything like that. Uh, you can see the big water bottle up there. I just uh, notched a little hole in there so it is kind of held in place by that. And the next thing I'm going to do is run that little cable out this side and down the door to a little foot pedal. And uh, I think I need to run to the store because I thought I had some pulleys somewhere, but I can't find them. So this bracket and spring are the very last components of this irrigation mechanism and it may not make a ton of sense right now but let me just explain and hopefully it'll make a little bit better sense in about 25 seconds. So the cable comes from the cabinet after being wrapped around the bottle and goes to the pulley just to the side of the cabinet and then the pulley directs the cable down to the foot pedal 
that is going to be used to actuate the water. And the reason the spring is important is because when the foot pedal is down, everything's nice and tight. But when it is in the stowed position, this would normally be uh, moving around. And my neighbor Pete gave me the idea of using a spring just to keep everything nice and tight. And honestly, I just think it looks pretty cool too. So now let's uh, give it a test. Moment of truth. You're going to see a little bit of water come down when I undo the cap. Um, but it should shoot out every time I uh, move the foot pedal. shop floor is soaking wet would have been better to do it outside but it's nighttime right now so obviously the light is here uh, but it works and uh, I think what I'll do is stock it up with some of those items that I showed you in the beginning refill the bottle of water and uh, leave you with some closing remarks Let me show you what it looks like somewhat stocked up on this bottom shelf you'll see I've got an assortment of gauze pads uh, the quick clot sterile water uh, hydrogen peroxide and alcohol sprays waterproof tape um, have another blood clotting agent for uh, kind of small cuts uh, wrap um, an irrigation syringe so I can uh, irrigate a deeper wound with this sterile water some wound closure strips uh, they kind of act as like adhesive stitches with zip ties um, and then just an assortment of medium and large band-aids, water bottle uh, to take out and irrigate something that may not be accessible with this, and then obviously that. Guys, well, I think that is pretty much going to do it for this project. As always, I hope it was interesting or perhaps it gave you an idea on a project you might be working on for yourself. Whether it is something like a first aid station or perhaps how to unnecessarily use a foot pedal and a pulley, maybe you gained some sort of idea from watching this video. Um, as for uh, some questions that I think folks may have uh, about things I didn't cover, uh, I wrote down a little list on one of my next projects, which is gonna be a plywood uh, notepad. <laughs> Not very cost effective, but it's what I had around. So the first thing I think uh, some of you may be wondering about is why I offset it on the door. Well, I did that for a couple of reasons. One was to keep the first aid station closer to the hinges. Uh, that way it would put less stress on the door and the hinges. And also when it opens and closes, it allows for more clearance when I'm grabbing the handle, as well as it puts the first aid st station on one side and allowed me to put the foot pedal a little bit offset that way when I'm pressing on the foot pedal, I'm not dripping water completely over my foot. I don't know if it exactly will work that work out that well. Um, and then the next question is, uh, some of you may be wondering, why is there not this supply or that supply? Why is there no aspirin or whatever in it? Well, pretty much most injuries in the shop are going to be some sort of traumatic injury like a cut or an abrasion or a burn or something like that. Uh, so that's why it's more like gauze and quick clot and, and things to uh, you know irrigate and close up a wound. I also did have some wound closure strips uh, that were pretty cool. I didn't really show too much of a close up but they basically adhere to your skin and then they have little zip ties to kind of close the wound. Kind of like uh, so hopefully you don't have to go get stitches and it'll hold it closed long enough for it to heal over. And then uh, the last question that I always get is why not just put it in a drawer? Why not just just uh, you know put a basic thing up why go through all this trouble to do it well number one I just kinda wanted to have uh, the first aid station and if I'm gonna do it I kinda like the aspect of being creative about it and coming up with ideas um, so definitely you don't need that I could have certainly just put it in a drawer and the water bottle to irrigate a wound would have been totally fine but it's just fun to kind of do these projects. Uh, one thing you may have noticed at the end, uh, that was the other thing I didn't cover. I changed out the big bottle for another squirt bottle and this would be so I could simply grab it out in case I got something in my eye, pop the top, irrigate my eye really well with a, a little bit of a pressure, not too much. Um, but so that way, kind of just those traumatic shop injuries, eye washing, that kind of thing. And then if I have a tummy ache, 
I'm just going to suck it up or I'm going to go inside the house and rest for a little bit. So as always, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button for similar content and uh, we will see you next time. And a little bonus for those of you who haven't turned off the video quite yet. Sometimes I like to incorporate a little hidden feature into my projects. And you may have noticed a little space behind the irrigation bottle. That is where I store an emergency stash of stress reliever, painkiller, antiseptic. Oh. Little Basil Hayden's. Not too bad. Oh, wouldn't you know it. I guess I stored a glass in here too. So, I think I'm going to give myself a bonus too. Cheers. Yeah, that's the good stuff.